welcome back to San Diego. We've made a video of all the amazing things you can do out here, but one of our favorite things to do is actually work out what we want to eat every night. So come with us and we'll show you how to eat like a local. San Diego has it all. The beaches, the weather, the craft beer, and even the food. San Diego is an incredible place for food because of our year-round growing season. We are unbelievably lucky when it comes to the climate. Of course, being right next to the ocean, we have incredible access to seafood. You have the influence of being on the border with Mexico. It's easygoing, but at the same time, really high-level kind of experience. With so much great local food to check out, it's hard to know where to start. We're going to focus on normal priced places where the food does the talking rather than the maitre d'. Californians are famous for being laid back, but they're fiercely proud of their local restaurants. We're going to let you in on some of their secrets and give you our top places to eat in San Diego. Right, let's get started. This close to the border, we have to begin with Mexican food. If you've never been to San Diego before, you need to go to Old Town. It's the historic heart of the city, as it was where the first Californian mission was established. It's been frozen in time to show what life was like here in the 1800s. It's a very popular tourist spot, so not a hidden gem but it's perfect for families and a first night destination. The margaritas and atmosphere will definitely make you feel like you're on vacation. Check out the entertainment and traditional market at Fiesta de Reyes. The central restaurants can have a long wait, so don't be afraid to walk along the streets, especially as some of the others might feel more authentic. Special mentions are needed for Lucha Libre in Mission Hills. It has epic, authentic burritos. And a golden booth, which I was told was reserved for Mexican pro wrestlers. But it can actually be booked by anyone clever enough to book 24 hours in advance. Doing that makes you a champion in my eyes. We also love Miguel's Casina, which you can find in Old Town, Point Loma, Coronado and a few other places. We're obsessed with the white cheese dip, which you get when you sit down. Mm, Believe me, Jude knows good food when he tastes it. You should also think about Mexican food when it comes to a certain day of the week in San Diego. Taco Tuesday is where you can get tacos for as little as a dollar. Most Mexican restaurants around the city have these, or other special deals on. It's popular with the locals though, so be prepared to queue at some places, but it's totally worth it. Make sure you order some fish tacos for me. You can't go wrong with a burger in California, but you can get it right. Very right. Every restaurant you go to will have one on the menu, but there are a few places which have something special. Hodad's in Ocean Beach is so famous for its burgers that we've never managed to actually get in because of the long lines. If you want to taste why they're considered one of the best burger joints in the country, join the queue. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. They've now got a branch in downtown, so hopefully there's less of a line there. Another small, unassuming joint that packs a punch is Rockies at Crown Point. It's a dive bar with a burger that beats posh fine dining restaurants every year. It's an adults only bar, so if you've got kids like us, we had to get the burgers to go. I can't put my finger on why they're so good. They're simple, but packed with flavor. It's a great example of how you can never judge a book, what well, menu, by its cover in this city. Our favourite place to go as a family though is Slater's 50-50. It's for the person who loves bacon. And who doesn't? 
Here the burger patty is 50% beef and 50% bacon. On top of that you can add bacon cheese, bacon mayonnaise, bacon ketchup, bacon salt and of course bacon to your burger. So what you can do of course is just order from their normal menu. They've got one burger which serves six people which is huge. It's got six slices of pineapple, six eggs, six slices of American cheese. Ooh. There's also some really cool normal burgers as well. A peanut butter and jelly one and also a bison and bacon burger one. But what I really like to do is order my own one. So at the home of beer and bacon, I've got a sculpin from Ballast Point, and I've gone for the 50-50 beef and bacon burger with a honey wheat, beer cheese, extra bacon on top of a bacon burger with some coleslaw, tomato, lettuce, bacon ketchup. I'll tell you what it's called in a minute. Okay, I have the life of Riley. That's for me. And then the dill pickle. Thank you. I make good burgers. I don't know how I can fit this in my mouth. Let's give it a go. Amazing. It's just perfect. Perfect. Made made custom for me. Can you get too much bacon? Never. That's a ridiculous question. It was the idea of Scott Slater who created his masterpiece after a night out while at university in San Diego. You can find Slater's at Liberty Station, which is the old Navy base where Top Gun was filmed. There's also one in San Marcos in the northeast, perfect for when you're on your way home from San Diego Safari Park. If you didn't know, San Diego is the craft beer capital of the USA. We made a video on this a few years back, check it out here. In England, a visit to a brewery would be just for the beer, but in California, they've created bistros and gastro pubs, which are kid-friendly and have food worthy of their own restaurants. There are hundreds of breweries in the city, but these deserve a special mention. Stone Brewing at Liberty Station and its main headquarters at Escondido. It's well worth the drive as it's like Disneyland for beer lovers. Pizza support is definitely worth a visit for an authentic San Diego experience. After a day at the beach with sand still between your toes, order a pizza you'll only find in California. Toppings include artichoke hearts, shrimp and pesto. This is another no frills venue where customers grab a table and look after themselves. The food and the drink do the talking. San Diego has really bought into the craft beer revolution, so expect to see local brews at every restaurant you visit. Try a new one each time you're out. San Diego is a city made out of unique neighbourhoods. There's the colonial style of Coronado, beach living at Mission and PB, upmarket styles in La Jolla, urban downtown, proud Hillcrest, the fishing capital of Point Loma, and there's Hippie Ocean Beach. That's all before you take into account the culinary capitals of Little Italy and North Park. This is one of the reasons why every local has their own favourite place to go in their part of town. San Diego has dozens of different neighbourhoods and within each neighbourhood you're going to find local bars, local restaurants that are really doing their own thing, that are unique to that part of town. Locals, of course, have their favorites. Definitely talk to someone. We know when, whether you're at a bar or at a restaurant, ask them what their favorite places are. You'll probably get a long list, more than you could ever do in one trip, but then you just have a reason to come back and keep trying more places. So, as you've heard, every neighborhood offers something different, so try to vary where you go. Big hotels and posh restaurants may have taken up most of the real estate along the coastline, but you don't always have to pay a premium price for a table with a view in San Diego. First up in the north of San Diego County is Oceanside. At 1,954 feet, it's one of the longest wooden piers on the west coast. You'll have built up an appetite when you reach the end, so you'll be pleased to hear there's a diner waiting for you. 
Ruby's is a chain, but its retro decor and panoramic views of the Pacific make it a perfect place to eat or grab a well-earned milkshake. If you time it right, you'll get a sunset view for the price of a normal meal. Coronado is one of the poshest areas in San Diego. The Hotel Dell has welcomed the rich and famous for years. The area is known for fine dining and upscale eateries, but we found a hidden gem near the ferry landing. The Village Pizzeria Bayside is an unpretentious pizza joint, but it boasts the biggest pizzas we've ever seen. And that's not even the main selling point. You'll also get a view of the harbour and city skylines. Sunsets like this are included in the price, if you tip well enough. Finally, our favourite restaurant in San Diego. Smell. Phil's Barbecue. It's the place we go on our first and last nights and usually bring home a suitcase full of barbecue sauce. In 1998, Phil Pace started selling his smoky creations from this hole in the wall in Mission Hills. When the line of customers waiting for food got so long he got complaints, he knew it was time to expand. In 2007, he moved to Point Loma, and a couple of years later, we joined the crazily long queues to eat there for the first time. This queue is nothing compared to the first time we came here. We would take people and they'd be like, why are we waiting? This is ridiculous. They, it was absolutely worth it every single time. This place changed my life. Back home, I've now got a smoker. I try and emulate this, bring it back as many vats of Phil's barbecue sauce as I can. Amazing. We've had to find a way that you can actually drink something at the same time. This is the way we've perfected it so far. Hands like this. Pick up in two hands like this. Drink. Go straight back to your ribs. Phil's is now a San Diego tradition for us. We bring family here, and we've let all of our kids have a little taste of it over the years. And they all loved it. Mine. Phil's sweet and spicy sauce is truly unique. Let me know what you think when you've tasted it in the comments. There are now seven Phil's barbecues in San Diego County. There's a restaurant at the airport now, so you can have one last taste of San Diego before you fly home. You can thank me forever. So, there you have it. Our top choices for Cali cuisine in San Diego. Now it's time to let us know yours. Leave your recommendations in the comments below and be sure to check back to see what up and coming places have been mentioned. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe as it shows YouTube we're worth watching. Check out our other San Diego and California videos here.